But I know if you do nothing, nothing takes place. So they're going to go from here to the Nebraska Supreme Court. A family's outrage over their daughter's death is now focused on the state justice system. It's been two months since 21-year-old Sarah Root died in a crash in South Omaha. Police say the other driver was drunk and speeding. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Bouton. This story is getting attention in Nebraska, Iowa, and now Washington, D.C. The other driver who survived the crash is this man, 19-year-old Eswin Mejia, an undocumented immigrant from Honduras, now on ICE's most wanted list after he skipped several court dates. The Root family says Mejia is a free man tonight because the judge in this case set his bond too low, and now they're trying to do something about it. Reporter Miranda Christian is at 78th and Dodge with more on what the Sarah Root family is doing tonight. Miranda? Yeah, hundreds of people showed up to this parking lot today, all in support of the Root family. They were out here signing petitions to remove the judge that set bond for Eswin Mejia. My kid's dead. She ain't coming back. Yeah. He's still breathing air right now wherever he is. Dozens of people showed up to this parking lot near 78th and Dodge to sign a petition calling for Judge Jeffrey Marcuso to be removed from the case. Root's family is furious that Marcuso said Eswin Mejia's bond at $50,000, allowing him to bail out of jail for $5,000. Mejia, in the country illegally, hasn't showed up for subsequent court dates. So you have to try. You can't give up. It's not going to do nothing for my family. I have a dead kid, a $5,000 bond, and four days in jail, and I'm supposed to call that closure. Don't think so. Not even close. Now the Root family will take these signed complaints and turn them into the Nebraska Supreme Court. Now coming up at 10, I'll have more on what people were saying out here today and how the Root family is reacting to what ICE is doing in the search for Mejia. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.